we can show you these visuals coming from the police headquarters. Remember, uh, several women's groups had come together outside the police headquarters and uh, actually laid siege to it. So water cannons now being used to disperse the crowd. Well, you can see uh, you, can, you can see the action against those people protesting. They uh, held a chakka jam of, short, of sorts, uh, protesting against uh, the, the gang rape in Delhi, asking for better security uh, for uh, women, asking that the police commissioner uh, take action. So activists there being uh, dispersed by the Delhi police using water cannons. All right, just to, just to correct there, this is actually coming from outside the chief minister's residence. The activists who had gathered outside the police headquarters had said that other people would be protesting outside uh, the chief minister's residence as well, but the police having none of it, uh, using water cannons to ensure that the mob does not collect there and lay siege in the same way that they've done at the police headquarters. So lots of anger, uh, lots of different women's groups really coming together. We've seen over the past two days protesting against uh, the, the, the state of affairs in the national capital that led to this uh, poor girl being gang raped in a moving bus, uh, crossing three PCRs, uh, crossing uh, several police barricades. No action taken. Enough is enough is what the activists are demanding. And you can see them marching uh, head on uh, despite those water cannons. So a lot of anger. The, the police obviously trying to control the situation outside the police headquarters, which is a very, very busy area of, of Delhi. Uh, Hundreds of activists have laid siege there. They've blocked the road. Well, right, Siddharth Pandey joining us on the phone line uh, from there. Siddharth, we're seeing these visuals. The activists are trying to really uh, block the roads outside the chief minister's residence, but the police trying to disperse them using water cannons. Well, that's right. In fact, uh, the main road in front of the chief minister's house in the heart of the capital actually has been blocked right now temporarily by the police. Protesters were actually trying to uh, break through the barriers and enter the CM's house and the police had to resort to uh, by, uh, charging, uh, by, uh, hitting them with water cannons. The crowd, of course, still in a belligerent mood, uh, still at the gates of the CM's residence, not budging from here. And the police, of course, as I said, have bl uh, blocked both the uh, the both the uh, entrances uh, uh, to, uh, to the road which actually leads to the CM house at the moment. The chief minister is not at a residence. Uh, I checked with the uh, uh, staff out here, but uh, but uh, but the protesters here also think that they're going to continue to protest. The police, of course, as I said, has uh, just uh, hit them with water cannons. Gargi.